So at 6.01, let's talk about our top story this morning. The city of Benicia now unanimously passing an indoor mask mandate despite the county of Solano advocating against it right, right now. Right, so it's not necessarily in the county, but it is right. in the city. And Crown Force Will Tran is there live in Benicia now with more on this mandate. Hi, Will. James, Daria, they're striking out on their own, so this is not a group decision. It is Benicia's decision. If you're going to any of the stores right behind me this morning, bring your mask. It's not just at uh, commercial buildings. We're talking city and county buildings as well. So long as you're in Benicia, they voted five to nothing to pass this mask mandate despite the Solano County Health Department. Not for this. In fact, the health director, he was at the meeting saying there's really no evidence evidence that, say, that says to him that it's really effective to wear the mask. But if you talk to the city council members and the mayor, they believe it's better than nothing despite, you know, because they're seeing the COVID-19 cases going up. In fact, it seems like four out of five people in Benicia, they are in full support of this. They actually have the backing of a doctor who is in this particular area. There's a lot of concern, obviously, by businesses. Will people be turned off that they might just say, I'm not going in there because I refuse to wear a mask. And the fear is that could ultimately hurt the bottom line. According to a doctor, she believes that's not the, going to be the case. As physicians, our concern is the public health and doing the right thing. However, I appreciate concerns about mask enforcement. Um, and, but I do believe that most people will follow a mask mandate. And the ones who wouldn't, wouldn't follow any kind of mandate anyway. Um, and also that uh, there are uh, concerns about potential economic effects on businesses. However, I think uh, keeping people well will help all businesses stay open. Because if apparently if you're a healthy shopper, you will continue shopping as opposed to coming down with COVID-19 and not being able to walk into the restaurant. So a little bit of inconvenience now, but in the long run, it will help the businesses, according to the doctor and not just the businesses, but also the frontline workers. She went on to say that people have no idea how stressed out the doctors and the nurses are, that they're working day and night and they're exhausted. So if you don't do it for yourself, at least do it for the frontline workers. As far as the enforcement, James and Daria, well, since Benicia is doing it on its own, they're not getting any county help. Benicia says they are not going to ticket people, but they will try to focus their attention on trying to educate people why it's better for them to wear a mask than not. I was kind of thinking about this, guys, and the best analogy is, say, Solano County is a group. Benicia is breaking off being a solo band, if you want to, or solo group, if you want yep. to put it in those phrases. All That's right. It. Thanks a lot, Will. Way to look at it. Yeah. Well, we have some developing news from Johnson & Johnson regarding